Hi there and welcome to Bustin' It. Yes, it's another episode of the FM Tactics series. We are we are in this with Gloucester City to try and see how far we can go with some of your tactics from the community. Generally, I've been using most of your tactics this season. Uh, what an impressive run. We're still undefeated, having dropped away matches to Everton, Burnmouth, Brighton and Chelsea this season. One home game to Chelsea. Um, not very, very good though, our performances. Uh, we are three points behind City. And City are performing quite well. They've lost twice this season. Once to us and once to Crystal Palace. We can only hope they drop a few more points along the way. Because they seem to be doing a lot better with their performances than we are. In terms of um, our tactic that we are going to be focusing on today's show, it's uh, a system that's come from Graham Hislop. I'm pretty excited about it because it's a 4 4 one, one. Not very often do I get a 4 4 something in the show. Even a 4 one, four one. I, I I think I may have had one, but not too many. Most people have either been sending me 4-3-3s, three, there's been a 3-4-1-2, uh, 5-3-2s, but really a system like this, I haven't received one. And uh, it's interesting because I have lots of questions when I look at this tactic and I'm thinking to myself, how is it going to work? Um, there wasn't very much information that came um, with uh, this tactic. So I'm going to have to try this tactic out and see how it performs. Um, there are certain things that bug me, right? Um, one of them is uh, he's, you've got, you, you're using wing backs. Mm. They're going to be a lot more attacking now. There is this uh, double flank that the 442 has or the 4411, which gives it a slight advantage over certain systems. But there is a problem with controlling this zone in this zone. So here we have uh, AM, so we don't have to really worry about this zone, more or less. Uh, we have to worry about this zone. But these wing backs are a concern for me because they, 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 they're they going to bomb off. This white playmaker is going to cut inside. This wing back is going to come this way. And when he gets up here... His only real support is going to come from the white playmaker or the DLF on support who drops deep, giving us an opportunity to see this attacking midfielder attack the box. Theoretically, that's how it should happen. Now, this means that the wing back is actually a very attacking part of this formation, which is okay. It means it does give me some concern about this flank. That's all. The white, white midfield uh, wing back on defense here with the wing on support. This wing on support has got to get further forward. So his starting position. Um, so he's going to have to make decisions on when he's going to make his forward run. So he's not exactly starting from an earlier. You know, he doesn't. You don't put him further forward uh, on default, which you might get from a wing on attack. Uh, the DLP on support has got dribble less. The CMD has got few risky passes and literally for the rest of the players, there's not really anything surprising here. Distributing the fullbacks up top, AM on attack with tackle harder. And the DLF on support with tackle harder and pass it short. Now DLF on support, the, the reason why he's here is definitely to play this guy in and to be a link with the white playmaker who's going to come here and hopefully the white midfielder attacking here. So we're looking at trying to create a lot of movement in this area of the pitch. Um, can we do something different? Maybe. Um, but here, you might we might think of this guy. You know, if it's a wing on support, could he be a wing on attack? Could this guy be a fullback on support? There are not many changes I can think of. Now, um, in terms of shape, this is going to be interesting. It's got one, two, three, four stratas. It can definitely play on flexible. Um, it can structure is not an issue. Uh, fluid might be a slight issue because this this group is going to be cramped, which means I can't really. I have to be very careful about using defensive lines if I go uh, fluid and very fluid because the compression here is going to get worse and balls are going to go over the top. Uh, this both these spots are going to be um, extremely exposed. So we've got a player set up. Uh, now I'm going to have to decide who's going to be playing. Now here, Germano is playing as an attacking midfield on attack. Now, uh, all right. The dilemma I have is 
he comes, he draws deep to get the ball. So he's going to come in and there's going to be a lot of uh, bunching up in this area. So we're not going to use him today. Uh, if I if Cesar Lopez is available, he'll have to come here and play. Germano will give way to Almedo. Germano will make way for Almedo. And then uh, Colado will come here. Mm, I could play Germano in this position, but he's not a tackler, right? So he's still got eight, so that's not really an option. So we're going to play Jackman there. Then our defenders are going to be Webster and Bothwick Jackson. Uh, in up top, we could uh, use Betinho Lopez, so I could go for Zay Gomez. Now, this is going to be interesting. This, this Betinho might actually be better. Passing 12, decisions 15. Zay Gomez, passing 12, decisions 15. 15, balance, 16, strength, 14. Um, here we've got balance, 17, strength, 14. So between the two of them, not very much difference between the two of them. Vision 11 for Betinho. Zego Gomez's vision 12. My head says go for Zego Gomez. All right, Betinho though, he can get himself out of trouble because he's got some dribbling on him, so he can definitely move the ball around. Zé Gomez, on the other hand, okay, he's dribbling his 14, so there's not much. I can remember my first player. Okay, that took a long time waffling on. Okay, I'm so sorry about that. Okay, so here, shouts, play out of defense, work ball into box, play narrow, push high up, use offside trap, roll from positions, and lower tempo. A hell of a lot of shouts. Uh... I'm not too thrilled with the number of shots that we have, but we're going to watch how this team performs. I definitely hate lower tempo at the moment. It's TikTok football. It's not something I'm too thrilled about. So I'm, if I'm looking at the set pieces that come with this tactic, uh, defend, we got the same. Attack, look outside the area. We'll just drop this guy in here. And then on uh, the left, we'll just drop him in here again. Okay, that sorts it out. I'm not going to change very many things. Uh, free kicks, uh, I'm more interested in this. Attacking free kicks, uh, we're going to keep you back here. And yeah, this should be fine. On the left, we'll do the same thing. Um, you back here. All right, we're all set. Let's uh, get cracking now. All right, so we'll have to look out for so all the uh, opposition instructions are set, and we'll have to look out for how they build play up. Uh, I'm I'm suspecting a lot of the play is going to be built up uh, from this side of the pitch, more likely. So I'm going to be paying a lot of attention to their right side. They also have a weakness with Sassinion. Sassinion might be fast, but his anticipation and bravery and level of, of aggression is pretty low. So we're looking forward to you uh, attacking down this side, but it's a 4 4 one, one And that really depends on whether I can unleash Pipoli in this game. Because Pipoli is actually playing here, and it's going to be on the flank where Sessignon is operating. So if I really want to make life a bit harder for Sessignon, I might be thinking of turning him into a winger on attack at some point during this match. So here we go. The match is underway. Colado plays it back to Bothwick Jackson. You can see what has happened with the wing back on attack and the white playmaker on support. They're very close to each other. So this man, we are playing on flexible and we can see the gaps all appearing. This winger is on winger on support with that get further forward. We basically told him to be further forward. So it kind of uh, makes reduces him as a option for a pass out. Colado with the ball. Brings it up. This is one of the reasons why sometimes I don't want to remove that dribble. I don't want to remove the dribbling uh, bi in the game. Colado with the ball holds it up. All medio is really simple. The boys are taking their time to build play up. Colado to Hajek, crossing it early to Collins. What can we do to um? You know sometimes. People ask me questions like, you know, I want to get the ball moving up faster. Um, and I want to play on a low mentality. The one thing I'll tell, the first thing I'll tell people to do is do not use the play out of defense shout. 
So here we go, Danny Sack to flip. As you can see, the biggest problem that this tactic has is the is the space between midfield and uh, defense. So Cabral Jesus with the corner Pipoli and it's cleared off the line. <laughs> Miraculously so. I'm gonna be paying attention to how they build play up in the first couple of minutes. Almedo as the ball plays it out to Lopez. Lopez takes it on really well. Find Zay Gomez. This is a AI generated counter that I had nothing to do with it. Gomez to Lewis to Chambers. Out he goes to Gabriel Jesus. Under pressure immediately. Plays it out of Kuja. That is the offside trap. Okay. Good work from Hajek. Hajek, the wing back on attack. Loses the ball, wins it back, gets it to Lopez. Zay Gomez has to work on his own. Does absolutely brilliantly with that strike at goal. What a goal from Zay Gomez. They won the hijack. This is all hijack. Hijack the wing back on attack in the opposition half. You know, there he is, winning the ball back, gets it to Lopez. Zay Gomez turns and smashes it from there. It's more fortuitous than anything else. Pretty well done. Good start. I still am concerned about how easily we got um Yeah, we found ourselves opened up in the first few minutes on our right flank. Colado with the ball turns around, gets it to Jackman. Jackman finds Lopez back to Zoe Gomez. Now to Lopez. Notice one how uninvolved Pipoli is at the moment. He's not part of the whole game, right? He's out there on his own. The ball has hardly seen him. So what can we do? One of the things I could do is uh, either I can play him as a winger on attack and completely forget about him as in build up play, or I can just turn him into uh, remove that, get further forward. We'll just watch this for the next couple of minutes. Danny Sack. Mercedes to Butlin. This is, uh, I think, the... I don't know, is it one of the cup matches? Either the FA Cup or the EFL Cup. Pipoli crossing it. Zay Gomez could have and should have made it too. Pipoli with the corner. What can he do with this? Gets it to Bothwick Jackson. Zay Gomez comes back to pick out the pieces. Gets it to Olmedo. Olmedo ah, loses out to Hauja. Hauja. So far, we haven't really created anything beyond that one strike on goal. Pipoli loses out. Ah, Danny Sack is offside again. Zuniga to Lopez. Lopez shoots, it's not going to test anybody. Chambers, Hauja, back to Chambers. Plays it to Mata. Mata out to Gabriel Jesus. Out on the flanks, shots blocked. I'm still toying with the idea of what to do. Mm. Gabriel Jesus, Colado knocks it out. Gabriel Jesus with. Uh, okay, not too bad. They get a throw. Chambers. Kajak does brilliantly. Jackman. Almedo. They clear the ball. Zay Gomez. And Ryan Sassinion. Okay, what can we do? Alright, we're going to make a few changes. Okay. Pipoli. Crossing it. Zay Gomez makes it two. Pipoli in the... Okay, this is another lucky strike. Uh, Pipoli in the right place at the right time. The, yeah, that clearance and there was Pipoli. Pipoli picks it up, crosses it brilliantly into the box. Zay Gomez makes it two, courtesy of somebody's ass. Okay. I'm going to just change things slightly. I'm going to remove his uh, get further forward. And I'm just going to tell him to be a wing on attack. So 
So these are the team instructions that the tactic came with. We got fairly narrow, lower tempo, slightly higher defensive line with the offside, try to play out a defense work ball and roam from positions. Hajek with the throw to Almedo. Almedo works the ball really well, has got lots of support on the left. They're overloading really nicely on the left. Hajek gets it back to Olmedo. Olmedo tries to cross it. Can't we get a corner? Pipoli to Olmedo crosses it and they clear the danger one more time. Colado back to Hajek. Gets it to Olmedo. Now to Jackman. Jackman back to Hajek. Hajek has a chance to drill across, but he's offside. Okay, uh, hmm. Mata to flip, flip to Kuja, Kuja, Hajek reads that, oh no, they managed to get an equalizer, Hajek making a terrible mistake at the back, terrible mistake at the back, that was horrific, here we go, flip to Hauja, Hauja through to the yeah, Hajek, arrived intercepted by I think the wet pitch, must have screwed things up for us. Okay, Zuniga with the free kick, mm, hits the ground, Collins saves and holds the ball. Zuniga with the throw to Webster, back to Zuniga, now to Jackman, Jackman to Webster, out it goes to Bothwick, Jackson, finds Almedo, he's got options, he's going to play, oh he doesn't, oh what a ball for Hajek again. Hajek is really getting into some really good positions to uh, cross the ball but Unfortunately for us, he's not a crosser of the ball. <laughs> he doesn't know how to cross the ball. Lopez outside the box, back to Almedo. Mercetic gets it. Mm. He didn't get. Mm, he didn't do much with that. Zuniga now plays it back to Colado. Colado out to Zuniga. Zuniga comes into the box. The wing back on defense, hopelessly out of position now. Danny check to Gabra Hezus. He's going to have problems. He's he's not going to be able to cross the ball. Yeah, Bothwick Jackson got back really quickly and clears the ball. Mata to Flip to Koja to Danicek. Back to Philip to Michetic. Now to Hauja. They played. Wow, Ryan Sassinion did brilliantly. Gets Bernie back into this with a second goal from Ryan Sassinion. What a move by the Wonder Kid. Oh, that was good running by Sassinion. He got away. I managed to get in across. Okay. Okay, ben Beniati to Danny Check to flip. Flip to Sassinion. Mata back to Chambers. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go structured now. I want to use. I want to stretch this team a bit, and uh, we're gonna have to go wide. Butlin out to Bothwick Jackson. Bothwick Jackson to Hajek to Almedo to Jackman. Jack went to Almedo. Almedo brings the ball up. Lopez back to Almedo. What can the boys do? Almedo dribbles. Gets it to Zay Gomez. Zay Gomez back to Jackman. Now to Almedo. He's got hijack. But he doesn't have him as an option. Colado. Now to Jackman. They swing the play to Lopez. Lopez. Zay Gomez. What a strike from Zay Gomez. That was so close. Okay, Frantisek Hajek is 6.3, not having a very good game, but never mind. Out to, out into space, Zay Gomez, chance for him to cross, and they managed to block that as well. Okay. Pipoli with the corner, she plays it short, nicely done. Webster gets up, Lewis clears the danger, Mercetic has a chance to launch a counter. Pipoli with the corner to Almedo, Pipoli back in. Lopez picks up the pieces. Nobody's offside. Jackman to Webster. Webster plays it back to Zuniga. Zuniga to Webster. Webster to Jackman. Jackman to Zuniga. 
to Jackman, back out to Colado, to Zay Gomez, Zay Gomez to Jackman, looks for Lopez's run, Lopez to Colado, Colado out to Hajek, Hajek does brilliantly, crosses it, and Lopez scores, it's 3-2, <laughs> oh, that was a sweet goal, Lopez finally scoring the goal that we needed. Colado, very patient build up. Hajek's cross. He can't cross the ball, but he, this time we had the perfect cross. Here we go Zuniga to Webster. Zuniga to Jackman. Now to Pipoli. Pipoli can't hold the ball up. Webster wins the header. Ivlikovic gets. <laughs> Damn it, these names. Shoes from range. <laughs> I look at these names and I go, what? All right. Um, can we make some changes? Right now, I, I haven't made changes. Pipoli has gone into an attacking mode. Uh, we went structured as well instead of flexible because I want to. And we became. We went wider because I want to. Exp I want to explore space. Then they're playing a four-one-four-one. Why do I want to play fluid? I don't want to play fluid right now. I want to stretch this game. I want, to, I want my players to take up wider positions. Lopez to Almedo. Brilliant ball. Back to Colado. Back to Almedo. Out to Colado. To Jackman. To Lopez. This is brilliant football. To Jackman. To Zay Gomez. And it's a fourth goal. What a goal. <laughs> I love that. That was sweet. Oh my goodness, that was one of the best goals I've seen. Jackman to Lopez. Look, I mean, this move, actually, you have to watch it from the start. Oh man, Zay Gomez coming out from an offside position. Scores, gives us a hat-trick. We're not 4-2 up. Okay, we can... Ah, uh, 88 minutes. Who the hell wants to substitute who? <laughs> Can't be asked. We've turned things around. Hajek has definitely played a much better game since being a party to that disastrous goal. That we conceded. Webster to Zuniga. Ah, Machitic loses out hard. That's all. <laughs> Gloucester for Burnley to. That's a good performance, actually. I liked it. Uh, pass completion ratio 94%. That's not too bad. Boys played pretty well. Heat map, as you can see. <laughs> I would expect this from uh, something like a 4 4 one, one Pretty dominating performance from us. Uh, then if I'm looking at how we did in terms of key pass combinations, I'm also going to be... I, we didn't have problems here. We didn't have problems moving the ball around. In fact, we we moved the ball quite effectively from one end of the pitch to the other end of the pitch and back to the other end of the pitch, which is nice. And we, our transitions were very smooth as well. And... Uh, Mm, I had just one or two changes I had to make in the second. Uh, later, when they became a bit more defensive, uh, the biggest change I made was definitely to um, the winger. I turned him winger on attack. I went structure and shape, and uh, there there weren't like and there weren't like major major changes, right? So I went structured. I turned this guy into a winger on attack, and other than that, uh, nothing major. Right, nothing, nothing that stood out. And uh, oh yeah, we went wider, correct, wider, and that was it. Nothing major. I I can't see that we did anything drastic with the tactic. Tactic is actually. I mean, when I looked at the tactic the first time, my concern was this wing back and this wing back, right? Because wing backs. Mm, sometimes you don't want to use wing backs because they can actually go off on a. You know, they can just become so attacking in orientation. However, if um, if you want somebody to put a lot of pressure down a flank, then a wing back is not a bad role. If I taken a full back on attack, then I'll, then maybe it wouldn't have been so. We wouldn't have seen Hajek playing so aggressively. You know, Hajek, the wing back on attack, plays very aggressively because the white playmaker gives him a lot of space. He sits narrow then that wing back has got the whole field to attack. So they played pretty well. I, I think that overall, the performances of the boys in the FA Cup was pretty solid. Uh, they managed to score two goals from Matic, Danicic, and uh, what's-his-face. He had two goals. Uh, we had a hat-trick. 
and uh, ratings wise it was pretty superb I mean the 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 TLF on support got back the hat trick the uh, second most important player of the match was actually our AM in this position he, he had a very good game uh, the assist came from Elia Pipoli as well as the the wing back as well as the play. so we had assists that went around the team all the all the correct players got assists the deep line playmaker on support got one both the wing with the wing back and the winger got assists so yeah overall i think it's not a bad tactic uh yeah i, I, I kind of like it I, I hope that those small little changes gave you some ideas as well if you want to play the game the next time for yourself so thanks for sending the tactic graham if you guys want to send in your tactics please please do so um you can upload them to send space or to dropbox and i will start using the tactics just provide me with the link in the description below and uh yeah we'll be on the show soon enough if you have any questions you know where to find me on twitter at bustanet or addicted to fm.com my website once again I'd like to thank all my patrons for their continued support of this channel you make these kind of shows very possible for the rest of the community so you guys take care have a good one i'll catch up with you again soon Bye bye